So, a little bit of a progress report, just with the Home Depot. I like, I'm there every other day when working on stuff like this, just cause I don't really plan stuff out all that well. But I picked up a few things. Um, already got some screws, but picked up a few extra wood screws. I picked up a few orbital sander uh, discs. Got 60 grit to remove a lot of the material to get the sides even on the two panels and just in general. And then some 150 to kind of finish it's MDF, so you don't have to go like crazy fine with it, in my experience. Got some casters. Uh, these will go on the base, so I got four of those. Then to test something out, I kind of want to be able to disassemble this without too much of an issue and not have to carry it all in one piece. So I am looking into using some of these T-nuts that can actually bite into one side of the wood, and then you can feed a screw through uh, one piece and then basically screw it into a wood and it's a bolt actually not a screw but then you can unbolt it and kind of undo it anytime you need so we'll see if that ends up being the case then I just got a whole bunch of these little um, right angle brackets to help with just framing up the kind of 2x4 frame I'm going to be doing As you can see over here I got the four main kind of difficult pieces cut out use the combination of the circular saw and the scroll saw and then I started on the frame, which is just a bunch of 2x4. Um, put it together with some of these little L-brackets. Since I didn't have long enough screws, I got screws that were long enough to go through this 3 quarter inch stuff and into another piece of 3 quarter inch or 2x4, but not long enough to go through the inch and a half uh, depth of the 2x4. So use these L-brackets, which held together pretty securely. Got one in each corner and then um, one holding on to those. So I'll probably end up getting some extra um, uh, longer screws or that will go for the, through the 2x4 and just secure that up. But it's pretty sturdy. Um, so what I'm doing now is I screwed on some extra MDF in order to get an offset so that when I put these casters on, they will kind of help the frame sit a little bit off the ground, um, probably about... an inch of clearance or so but you know kind of be low to the ground so hopefully not too much stuff will run into it but far enough off the ground it can get over some um you know like office size humps So tonight's progress wasn't all that big of a step as um, this weekend, I'd say, but you know, I got a fair amount done, so taking a look, you can already see that is going to be kind of one of the pieces of the frame that's up top. Then there's another one in the front right here, and then I went ahead and reinforced the frame down here, um, put these in with some lag bolts so they should be nice and strong. Uh, tomorrow. If I work on it, I'm not sure if I am because I kind of have to do some other things like edit. But uh, I need to reinforce this because it's only being held together with a right angle bracket right now in all four of these corners. So I'm probably going to get some like long, uh, really long wood screws and drill all the way through with a pilot hole and go through all three of these pieces of wood so that basically this side piece becomes part of the frame. And um, that way I won't have to do too much kind of like vertical framing and stuff like that. But really what's going to kind of increase the structural rigidity the most is going to be like this front panel, which is going to go on. Um, right now I'm thinking I'm going to have the access in the back. Not sure if I want to do it in the back or the front. Could do something down here with like some um, cabinet hinges or something and have it tilt forward so you can access the computer and stuff. I'm not sure. 
But um, I was kind of planning on putting a drawer here, but just the size of it was a little awkward, so I decided to just probably not do that. I can still technically do it with this area that's kind of slanted right here, and that might actually kind of look cool to have some stuff like uh, maybe controllers and um, stuff like that, keyboard and mouse. But right now the plan is just to have this to be, um, sit on top of this, and then um, it'll be able to lift up, and that way you can get to all the circuitry behind it and some stuff in the inside. But um, also today, you can see I cut these notches in. And that's going to be for when, you know, this sits flush and I build this up about, I think that's like five inches. Um, so if there's, you know, kind of like a, a control box, then, um, you know, there's clearance for that. So cut those notches out. They don't align perfectly, even though I cut them pretty straight. I'm probably just going to end up sanding it down. So, yeah, tomorrow I think I might try to get these sides on if I do work on it at all. And then... Uh, reinforce some parts like I mentioned before and then after that it'll probably be doing the control box and then just uh, paneling everything which is going to be you know some vertical struts this way that way build the box out on top kind of leave space for a marquee and then um, figure out how I'm going to do things structurally to be able to mount a uh, widescreen TV in there but yeah thinking about maybe 39 inch TV in there 42 basically the biggest we can find for inexpensive that will fit in there. So that's the plan. That's the status. Just wanted to update you guys. I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna go get some food, even though it's like 11 o'clock and try to edit some and then go to sleep and do it all again tomorrow. <music>